Hey everybody, Garrett Claridge here. What you're looking at is an old vintage uh, realistic set. This is a SA600 head unit here. Just uh, pretty well the amplifier receiver, no uh, tuner or anything built into it. And of course the matching Optimus 600C speakers. Now when people buy these speakers you uh, might have to watch out for a little something called foam rot. That's where, uh, as you can see here, it's kind of hard to see but the edge of this speaker is uh, slowly disintegrating over time it may look good kinda like this one here where you can see the foam is perfectly intact but I trust me once I touch this it'll just rip right through so uh, just a quick tip for people that are buying old speakers never go to someone's house when they have speakers up on the classifieds or anything and uh, touch the surround right away because then they might think that uh, you broke their speaker not knowing that that's just rotted away over time I've had this happen a couple times where I had to buy the speaker because uh, you know an old guy has a speaker up on uh, Kijiji and you go and uh, check if the foam's rotten and uh, you just end up putting your hand right through it they don't like that so uh, what I do when I'm checking for old uh, for foam rod anyways, you gotta be really careful, you can't do an excursion on the speaker. I usually just try to scratch the edge, or try to rub the edge. You can't see it with this camera, but I'm rubbing the edge here, and just very slightly, and I can see the foam coming, coming off. Here, see, you kinda see it coming onto the woofer cone there. That's a good indication that the thing's gonna fall apart upon uh, playing music, or just touching it. Here, I'll give you a good example here, just touching it there it is barely any pressure at all now here's the fun part I'm going to show you what this does when you play music out of them and I think it oh wait these particular speakers have a circuit breaker built in These ones actually trip very, very fast. <laughs> Takes a couple seconds for it to turn back on. But you see the foam just blasted all over my floor here, and that's a bitch to clean up. And actually, this is a kind of a weird situation. Usually when this foam rots away, the uh, speaker will go out of alignment and just pop and make all kinds of bad noises. This isn't the case with these ones. I guess the spider, which is that little, another kind of uh, suspension inside there is holding it up. So usually you'll hear this kind of sound when you're playing them. Kind of apparent with these ones. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if I disabled the circuit breaker in there and uh, used a more powerful amp than its uh, wimpy little uh, stock one, those things would have lit on fire by now. You can hear it rubbing now. 
not very good. You do not want foam rot. If your speakers are definitely worth fixing, do not play them when they're foam rotten like this. If you ever see a speaker with a cone flopping around like that, that's very damaging for the, to the uh, voice coil right now. Uh, recone kits are available on eBay, stuff like that. You can, uh, if you can figure it out, just align it and uh, glue the new foam on there and you should be good. If you don't know what you're doing, definitely uh, seek professional help. But you do not want your speakers playing like this, that's for sure. <laughs> I love the circuit breakers on those. They're pretty well indestructible party speakers because they'll just shut off when uh, you take the power over the edge. I used to have the 15 inch version of these. Something like it and uh, you couldn't kill them because of that. Too much bass and they just shut off for a little while. <laughs> There's my quick service announcement slash exploding little crappy speakers everywhere. I think I might uh, just get new woofers for these. They're not worth uh, putting new foam on them. Although, about $10 I could put new foam on there, but uh, meh, it's realistic. Cabinets are nice though. Anyway, see you guys later. Got See you guys later. <laughs> Peace out.